What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today we've got another uh, knife loaned in from my buddy Gary. Um, again, this is one where I think all three of the knives that I have from him right now, he bought new and just had shipped to me. Um, <laughs> Which is, you know, which is cool. So, Gary, I hope you like this um, before you get it. Because this is the last one I have to do, and uh, I'll get these shipped out to you shortly. I'll reach out. So, this is a Dutch Blade Works Xerxes. So, it's, <laughs> it's a very cool knife with a couple of awesome designers. Um... This was designed by Tashi Barucha, Baruki, and Goody Van Poppel. So a couple of European knife makers or knife designers, and they worked with Wee Knives over in China to produce this. And again, Wee Knives knocks it out of the park. They do just an amazing job with every Wee Knives I've ever seen from any designer has just always been a hit. So let's dive right into it. This is not a small knife, but it's not a huge knife, okay? It's kind of in the middle. It, it's bigger. It's a big knife for a lot of people, I think, but, well, it's five inches closed. Overall length, eight and five eighths. Six point, a three point six seven inch blade with a 3.46 cutting edge. Blade steel is CPM 20 CV with a blade thickness of 0.157. Weighs in at 5.1 ounces. The thickness, the overall thickness, and this is kind of a unique piece, a unique uh, feature of this knife. It starts out at 0.5 five inches, and it ends at 0.382. And we'll talk about that more as we go through. Um, let's, man, let's just zoom in because there's just such cool stuff to talk about here. Awesome stonewashed blade. Acid wash, stone washed, whatever you want to call it. And that carries through to the titanium scales also. It has a look of bolsters, but it's a solid piece of steel. Sorry, titanium. And they've just done some milling here, and this is smooth. And then they've got some really cool, if it will focus, texturing here on the back side of the scales. It's not super grippy, but you can feel it. They did a fantastic job. And on the backside, same thing. Has that kind of milling pattern in the backside and then this false bolster in the front. The only marking on the blade is the blade steel right back there at the end, hidden kind of. Overall, just a great knife. The clip looks like a spring clip, but is a 3D milled all titanium clip. And the fit and finish on this clip, where it bolts in and tapers and down to a point like the rest of the scale, just amazing. But it's milled out enough that it acts like a spring clip because there's enough give. It, it just works amazing in the pocket. It's a super sterile knife. It has the uh, Dutch Blade Works logo. And then deep down inside, we might be able to see, it has the designer's names in there. And that's it. Other than that, completely sterile, which I love. Now the shape of this is not my favorite shape. I'm not into the Persian style knives necessarily, but this one works for me. The kind of bronze and stonewashed color throughout, I absolutely love. To me, phenomenal. So the tapering of the backspacer, which allows the scales to taper, 
is the first time I've ever seen this. I am sure it's happened on other knives. Okay, I haven't seen every knife in the world, but I've not seen that before. Now we all know that the blades always taper, right? They always start out thick back here and they always taper down to a nice point. Okay, not every knife either, but most every knife kind of tapers down to a slimmer point than on the back here. And most knives, let's see what I got here uh, as a good example over here on the table. Um, so the Spyderco Endura starts off thicker and tapers down. Well, the scale, the cutout here is the same size from here to here. Where what Dutch Brothers, Dutch Blade Works did was have it taper down just like the blade. So when you close this knife, you have the same tolerance back here, distance from the scales to the blade as you do down here. It's just genius to me. Now, does it make the knife function better? Does it have any practical, you know, advantage? No, not really. But this tapered backspacer, one, looks cool as hell. And just the fact that they did it, and this distance here is the same as this, you know, kind of between the handle and blade, to me is just really trick and really cool. A couple of other little details that you may not notice is one, I love a complete backspacer. No way you're gonna cut yourself on the blade, even if it's a big thick blade, you're just, you're totally protected. And I personally like this look better than just a couple spacers, okay? That's me. But here, the backspacer doesn't just end. The scales kind of have these nubs on them. So it looks like a finished kind of intentional pocket for the backspacer. They also threw in a lanyard tunnel, if you will, which isn't a hole. It's one continuous backspacer that's just kind of dug out for that. So I love that because I'm not a lanyard guy. I don't love having a hole through the blade or through the scale. So something like this is great. But they also did that same little nub thing. So it's a very intentional for where the backspacer ends. Same with the pocket clip, uh, very good attention to detail. As well as this kind of cutout between the bolster and the scale. It wraps through the lock bar, all the way around, and then it picks up again on the opposite side and wraps all the way around. Just great detail, no question. I just, yeah. Well, that's what you get when you have two top-notch designers and an amazing manufacturer in Wee Knives. They took the designer's ideas and put it to, into practical construction and made just an absolutely awesome, awesome knife. So these are being, these were sold exclusively through uh, Arizona Custom Knives and they're about $380. I don't know if they have any left, I did not check. I know Gary just bought this from them, so I don't know if it was their last one or not. But here it is against a Sharpie. Um, we said it's not a small knife. So here's the Spider Codelica. But it's also not a huge knife. So here, here's the Endura. Spider Co Endura, about the same size. Much different blade shape, of course. Um, how about the Chris Reeve? 
Large Sapenza 21. It's a little bit bigger than that. Slightly. It's a little deceiving just because of the angle of the camera. But yeah, the uh, Xerxes is just slightly bigger. Here's another knife from Wee Knives. Civivi, but that's a Wee Knives budget division, if you will. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than the Xerxes. I do not have another Wee Knife out here. Um, I normally have my uh, Field Marshal Steelcraft, top big Steelcraft out here, but I, I don't have that one on the table. Um, here's the Curtis Cruz. It's a little bit shorter. So it's not a huge knife, but it's not a small knife. And, you know, for giggles, the FIF 23, which is much bigger in pretty much every dimension than the Xerxes. But all in all, this, isn't, this is not the most Persian-style knife there is because this upswept is not that big. It's slightly upswept. It has the harpoon. Um, the handle does turn down. So it's Persian style, but it's not totally Persian, if you will, for me anyway. So this one, I could actually probably carry and own. Not this one. I'm going to send it to Gary. But I, I just love the details. I love the coloring. I love the fit and finish, and I love the feel in the hand. It just feels great. You can choke up on it. Even though I have a kind of a larger finger, it, it fits, and I feel totally comfortable and secure in using that finger choil. Like, I'm not going to cut myself. So it, it's big enough for me to do that. Um, all in all, I give this a freaking A+, plus, and I don't normally grade the things. I'm just really impressed by this one. Uh, so, Gary, I hope you'll love it when you get it. I will get it shipped out here shortly and send you tracking and all that stuff. But beautiful knife. I love it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the look of the Dutch Bladeworks Xerxes. So, thanks for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I really do. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.